Hi children, uh, my name is Mr Kennedy and I'm the head teacher of your new primary school and we are so excited about welcoming you to the school on Thursday and all the teachers uh, are busy getting the school ready uh, so that it is full of exciting uh, and fun uh, activities uh, to do and to learn from uh, later this week. So I we thought we'd just show you a little bit of the school to get you ready uh, for your first day on Thursday. Have a great day uh, tomorrow and I look forward to seeing you then. Enjoy having a look at your classroom. See you soon. Children, in the morning, you're going to say bye-bye on the playground and you're going to lift your weights, your teacher will be waiting over there, that's Mrs Wall. Sometimes it'll be me waving and we're going to walk this way. We're walking up with your friends, having a chat and looking forward to another great day in Ashford. So as we walk up, Mrs. Wall will be there, or it might be me, and we're going to say hello and welcome you and invite you in to a great day in Ashford. So when you've come in, from outside, you've waved to the teacher, you've said goodbye to the grown-up that's dropped you off, you're going to walk into our cloakroom area and you will find, the teachers will help you, you will find your peg and that's where you're going to put your coat. You won't need your PE bag on there because you'll be coming to school in your PE kit so we don't need a PE bag but you will put your coat, your bag, and uh, if you've got a book bag, we're going to put your book bag on there as well. You've hung up your coats on your coat peg. These are your shoe lockers and each one will be named. If it's a rainy day and we need to change your shoes from your outdoors to your indoors, we shall put your indoors in the shoe locker and we shall sit and change our shoes. If it is dry outside when you arrive at school, we'll probably keep you in your outdoor shoes. Hi boys and girls, I wonder if you can remember my name? That's right, I'm Mrs Clemson and I'll be your teacher on a Monday and a Tuesday and a Wednesday afternoon. And this is your other teacher, <laughs> Mrs Wall. <laughs> Hi, so I'll be teaching in Ash class on a Wednesday, a Thursday and a Friday. Now, when you come to school in the morning, once you've sorted your coat out and we've sorted our shoes out and you've been to wash your hands, the first thing you will do is come into the classroom and you will find some tables laid out at the front. There are two children per table and you have got your name on the chair. Don't worry if you can't read your name yet, we'll help you find your chair. And that's going to be your learning space when you first come into the classroom. Hi children. In our classroom, there are lots of nice things to do. There are lots of areas that you can go to that are set out beautifully for you. We have computers. We do lots of learning on the computers and we do lots of playing on them as well. Lots of fun things. On the tables, we have activities that are different each day and we often have building, we have things to play with, we have things to explore on the table. So this is a construction activity called Tulo. Over here, we have our writing area. So we have lots of letters to practice and envelopes and pieces of paper. And we can make notes for our family and friends. This is our home corner really enjoying learning about ourselves this topic and making dinners and enjoying our role play. This is another tabletop activity. So we have here the castles and the kings and the knights and the unicorns out at the moment. This changes a lot, but we have lots of fun here. Now this is our creative area. Here's a, a display board for our bubble. We're going to be in our Ash class bubble. And in this creative area, different every day you can use your imagination to make anything you like i've made a telescope and i folded paper here to make a fan over here children this is our water tray we have lots of nice different activities in here and over here is our maths area it's really exciting because there's a mirror here and you can do reflection with shapes and doubling and things like that 
On the tables, when you've done your other work, we have play trays. There are different things in the play trays. This play tray has got dinosaurs in. This play tray has got Duplo in. This play tray is for practicing feeding the animals with the tweezers. We have books and we have iPads. This play tray has cars on it. We're really looking forward to seeing you all. So when you come in in the morning, you will come and sit on these first few tables with a friend next to you. And often there'll be either something, a morning activity for you to do, or there might be something on our amazing smart board. Now we use our smart board for a plethora of things, for loads. We do reading on it, we do some handwriting on it, we explore the topics, we go on YouTube, we do loads of things. And it's an interactive smart board that we can actually come up the steps and have a go, especially things like number games and things like that, which is really exciting to use. So our smart board is really such a wonderful teaching tool and I think you boys and girls are gonna really love it. Hi children, this is Monty, our class monkey, and he's always looking out for children doing the right things and making good choices and being kind and sharing. And when we stop you doing that, you'll be able to have things called Monty stamps. We collect these in little booklets, just like this. And we have stamps for doing clever things. And we write down here what it is that you did that was very special. And when you have one, two, three, four, five, six Monty stamps, these go home and people can celebrate them at home with you too. Here in Ash class, we read out all the special things that you did so that other people can do the clever things that you did too. Hi children, this is our toilet for our bubble. Everything's automatic in here, it's really good. So we can use the toilet. We have three cubicles and an automatic flush, so you don't even have to touch the toilet to flush it. You just wave your hand in front and it will flush automatically. Hand washing is really important. I know you've been practicing it for us. As you come to the sink area, it's all automatic as well. This is what we need to do. So we're going to head over to the sinks. We're going to roll our sleeves up. I'm sure you've been doing this at home so we don't get our sleeves wet. And the first thing we're going to do is put our hands under the tap. Now again, just like the toilet, we don't need to be turning or pressing anything, but we do need to wet our hands first. So under the tap. And then as if by magic, the soap dispenser just appears. So we can put our hand under there, the soap comes out automatically, we don't have to touch anything. One, just one pump of soap is more than enough. And then we're going to wash our hands like you've been doing at home. So we're going to rub our palms together. Then we're going to go on the backs of our hands. And then we're going to go in what we call the hidey spots. So we're going to get right inside those fingers. And then we're going to get our claws ready and we're going to rub our fingers on each palm like this. We're going to rub our thumbs, give those a wash and even we're going to wash our wrists. Now I'm sure you've been practicing at home, we count to 20 when we're washing our hands. So when we're all nice and clean, again under the sink, under the tap. Now you don't need to rub it off, just let your hand, under, put your hand under the sink and let the tap and the water wash the soap off and flick so you get most of the water off and then it's the exciting part over to the hand dryer. Now it sounds just like an aeroplane, are you ready? So we just slide our hands in. <laughs> Wow.
welcome to our outdoor area. We spend a lot of time out here having a wonderful time. We have the wheel vehicles out, we do basketball, we have hockey, um, we have the water out here and our ash cottage to play in. Um, we do lots of learning out here and we have a great time. Hi, I'm Mrs Stimson and I'm really looking forward to getting to know you all. Um, see you tomorrow. Hello, I'm Mrs Tubbury. I'm looking forward to helping you with your lovely learning too. We are very excited that you're going to be joining us this week. And don't forget there are four grown-ups in Ash class. Mrs War, Mrs Climpson, Mrs Stimson and Mrs Tudbury. Now when you arrive on Thursday this week, so Thursday and Friday, it will be me and it will be Mrs Stimson on the Thursday and Mrs Tudbury on the Friday. So I can't wait to see you on our first day. And when you come back to us on Monday, it'll be me with Mrs Tudbury welcoming you to school. And on Tuesday, it will be me and Mrs Stimson welcoming you to school. Can't wait to see you.